studio. I'm here again. It's all about the life of a star in action. It's Star Track on Infobox TV. And I'm in this secret area, tracking a secret personality. But I need to keep my voice down because it's 4.30 a.m. and I don't want to disturb the neighbors. I just want to go in and check if she is ready. I'm sure you wonder who she is. Wait till you see her son. Um, You? I'm fine. How are you? No, I'm actually awake already because my day starts very early. So Okay, so viewers, you, you got me at a good time. My yeah. Star Trek personality <laughs> for today is Kokri Salome. You She's did. a co-host on This Morning on Basag One. You've yes. seen her now. So, <laughs> okay, come on in. Welcome oh, to you. our humble abode. Thank you. And we may even see a little dance hall lady coming yeah. in to talk to us. <laughs> The kids are already awake. Like yes. it's almost five o'clock. I know because <laughs> our schedule is so early. They also wake up early. So take me through your morning routine. Alarm goes off at four o'clock. Wake up, get water ready for the kids to have a bath. My darling husband helps bath the children. I'm usually with the baby. You know, we have three. we have three three boys, and they're all very young. Um, so the two older ones have to go to nursery. The baby stays at home with my mom so my mom will be coming over soon to take care of the baby whilst we get ready um so i know i shower get dressed then i go make their food to take to school how do you juggle your work with your kids my husband and my mom between the two of them we get this sorted out each and every morning so to be honest i don't know how we do it without them why are you dressing first good question whoever keeps still the longest okay You'll be the first. Which will so probably be Kobe. Be here. Oh, oh. Wait, where's your other slipper? Yes. <laughs> On the floor. When we come in the morning, it's full speed ahead. We usually look at the newspapers, see what the stories are. Um, because today is Thursday, it's an entertainment day. So we deal mostly with entertainment news headlines. And we try to make the show as fun and light as possible. Allegedly, he was smoking what is alleged to be cannabis in public, and he was apprehended thereafter. When, when did you start the show? We started the show August 6, 2012. Before then, what were you doing? I worked very briefly at GIPC. Okay. Um, and I hosted a show on City FM. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm an honorary City FM. Mm -hmm. Patrice, why are you clearing your throat? <laughs> But um, when we started this morning, I had to leave City. I was co-hosting the breakfast show with Bernard. We are good to go. Today is double my king day. Goodness, that's why people say good morning too. Darling, how are you? Hi, oh, Father Gamble. Oh, my goodness. How are you? Fine. Good, we'll see you on set. Okay. Oh, I mean, but that's uh, you were so happy. Why the house is it to go? Good morning, Father. Morning. It's great to have you on. We're so happy that you came to share with us what you're doing this Christmas season to help people again. If you're not on this morning, yeah. what else do you do? If I'm not on this morning, I'm either producing this morning content-wise, or I'm doing music, or I'm being a mom. Remember those walls I built? Oh baby, they're tumbling down. And they didn't even put up a fight. Tell me about your music career. What have you done with it so far? Juggling the show, juggling the kids, the husband and all of that makes it a bit difficult for me to pursue music as much as I would want to. But I still do perform. I have a Christmas album I did with Hugh Masakela a couple of years ago. So it's not that I don't perform anymore. I do, but I don't have as much time to devote to it as I would like. Do you have a first worry about your weight? Do you know, here's the thing. I believe in being healthy. I believe in keeping fit. I have started going back to the gym since I had the baby. I remember when we were starting the show and it was announced that Patrice and I were going to be hosting the show, there were some comments on social media like, oh, this woman is not, she, she's, she shouldn't be on TV and she's plus size. And, and I thought that was hilarious because there are lots of people who look like me. Exactly. And so if you don't have anyone like me on TV, how, how is that person supposed to feel? How is that person going to relate to someone on TV? It's not everybody who's slim. Exactly. And it's not everybody who's slim who's healthy. Exactly. Not everyone who is bigger is unhealthy. You'd be surprised. My blood pressure is very low. But there are people who are slim like you who have high blood pressure. So don't be fooled by the size. 
This is yes. superwoman. She is a fantastic personality to work with in terms of oh. her work output, in terms of her energy, in terms of her psyche, in terms of her intellect and her delivery. She is super. She's somebody that I've learned a lot from. I want us to be remembered as the team that everybody wants to wake up and spend their morning with, which I think people do. People like the fact that they can turn on their TV in the morning and watch Kukui and Patrice and feel like they're entering our living room and spending a couple of hours with us to get their morning started the right way. That's it. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thanks for joining us on the show. Hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah. It was a fun one. I am never gonna shut you out. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded. Okay, so it's been an awesome morning hanging out with the superwoman, Kokui Salome, the co-host for this morning on Vasad One. It was great. It was fantastic. I enjoyed every bit of it. Viewers, watch out for our next personality on Star Trek on Infobox TV. I'm Asantua. Bye. Oh, hey. Hi, my name is Kofi Salome. You're watching Infobox TV. Thanks for spending time with me. This is how I spend each and every morning.